Lately, I've been reflecting on my formative years. My siblings and I were fortunate to grow up in the Los Angeles of the 1950s and 60s. We lacked many of the Jewish luxuries we all take for granted today. You may not believe it, but I only had my first slice of kosher pizza when I was 12 years old. But we did have a wonderful little cheder called Torah Semes, with probably 150 to 200 students then. And it was founded by working class Holocaust survivors who knew that they had to give their children appropriate Torah chinuch at all costs. Thank God, over the years, the LA Jewish community has flourished in every possible way. And while I'm grateful for all the abundance we have today, I make a point to remind my children that it wasn't always this way, because it's only when you're aware of the past that you can truly appreciate the present. Why am I talking about this today? Because I was reviewing the first few passages of this week's Parsha, Parsha Tzav, where the Jewish people receive two commandments about the altar, the Mizbeach. Firstly, we have the mitzvah of Truma Sadeshan, removal of the ashes. Every single day, a Kohen would ascend the altar and remove a panful of ashes that had gathered from the sacrifices of the day before. Immediately after that, the Torah commands us, Eish tamid tu kadala mizbeach loy sichbe. A fire should be constantly burning on the altar, never to be put out. What is the significance of these two mitzvahs? And why do they appear one after the other? My friends, open up your hearts to the following thought. The fire represents our faith, the Jewish religion. Judaism, Torah, and mitzvahs is something that must not and cannot be extinguished. The torch of Yiddishkeit must be passed on from generation to generation. However, the prerequisite to creating the eternal fire is to recognize the importance of the ashes. What are ashes? Ashes are a quiet reminder of the fire of the past. Ashes are a remnant of yesterday's sacrifices. They're a living testimony to that which once was, to the dedication of those who came before us. We're only here today because of our parents, teachers, and ancestors. When we remember that, that's when we're able to keep the fire going in our own time as well. Next week is Pesach. On Wednesday and Thursday night, we'll all sit by the Seder table, celebrating the exodus of two million Jews from Egyptian slavery some 3,000 years ago. And while the main focus will be on our liberation, we'll spend considerable time talking about the servitude and slavery back in Egypt. Why is that important? Who really cares? Why discuss slavery so much? Let's summarize the story quickly and get to the matzah balls. But the truth is that only when we acknowledge and relive the exile, that's when we're truly able to appreciate Geula, the redemption. Yes, keep the fire going, but make sure never ever to forget the past. Wishing you and yours a Shabbat Shalom Umevarach.